gamot ni marapat ay dumudulog sa'yo upang makanta ng awa mo. Ang diwa ko'y naninimdim kung malayo sa'yo. Ang puso ko'y namimigati kung mawalay sa'yo. Kailan ko pa kayo matitikman ang awa mo? Kailan tatamuhin ang patawad mo? Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Good afternoon po, Father. We include in this Mass our personal intentions. We pray for our families and friends and relatives. We also include in this Mass for the fast recovery of El John Pangilinan and Eleanor Salterio. And Thanksgiving Mass of Paulina, Robert, Ricky, and Ramil Rivera, Richard, Heidi, and Cindy Manalo, and Ramir and Josefina Valencia. We also remember in this Mass our loved ones who has gone before us. And we pray for all the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God, and to and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have, I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my, in my words, words, in what, in what I, have I have done and, and in what, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. By your help, we beseech you, Lord God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. 
I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. iniquities lord who can stand but with you is forgiveness that you may be revered be the lord there is mercy and a fullness of redemption i trust in the lord my soul trusts in his word more than sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the Lord. Give the Lord there is mercy and a fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. Be the Lord, there is mercy and a fullness of redemption. Our reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the One who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the One who raised Christ from the dead will give you life to your mortal bodies also, through His Spirit dwelling in you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all send. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. 
When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, Let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God the one who is coming into the world. He became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you, are, that you always hear me, but because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus came out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Tayo po ngayon ay nasa ikalimang linggo sa panahon ng Kwaresma. So the first reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel announced a promising future for his ruined people. It was a promise that God made to Israel while in exile. 
this promise of regeneration and restoration of our lives, weakened by sin, sickness, and the difficulties of this life, is still valid for us up to now. In the second reading, Paul also reminds us that it is only the Spirit of Jesus that can restore us to life. If the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, He will give life to your mortal bodies. In other words, without the Spirit of God, one is as good as dead. The Gospel presents us with Jesus' demonstration of power by raising Lazarus from the dead. Christ proved that He is really the resurrection and the life. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Jesus is asking us if we believe Him, if we trust Him. E eh kung tayo tatanungin ngayon ng Diyos, naniniwala ka ba sa akin? Naniniwala ka ba sa kapangyarihan ko? Nakaya kong gawin lahat. Ano kayang masabi natin? Masabi rin kaya natin, Yes, Lord, naniniwala ako sa iyo. Kung meron kang pinagdadaan ng mabigat sa buhay, kung meron kang karamdamang malala, kung marami kang hinihiling sa Panginoon na nagtingin mo'y makakatulong sa iyo sa paglago sa iyong buhay, at sa iyong buhay pananampalataya, masasabi mo kaya sa Kanya, Lord, naniniwala ako sa iyo na walang imposible sa iyo, na kaya mong gawin lahat ng bagay. Kita naman natin sa ating Ebanghelyo, kahit patay na si Lazarus, muling binuhay ng Panginoon sapagkat walang imposible sa Kanya. Kaya niyang gawin lahat ng bagay kahit napaka-imposible na para sa atin kahit wala nang maniniwala. Pero sa Diyos, everything is possible. And Jesus is inviting us to new life with Him. The resurrection is not just something in the future. Jesus offers life now. Ngayon, He is inviting us to go out of our comfort zones. We have to go out from our hiding. Tigilan na ang pagkukunwari. Tigilan ang pagkakasala. Tigilan ang pagsuway sa kalooban ng Diyos. Tigilan ang pagsisinungaling. Because when we obey God, when we go out of our graves, we will be set free. We will have new life with Him. We will have the fullness of life. And God will grant us eternal life. My dear brothers and sisters, our celebration today reminds us that Lent is not just about suffering and sacrifice. It is a corridor to new life. So don't miss out the new life that Jesus offers us. Don't waste life. Huwag natin sayangin ang ating mga oras, ang ating panahon, ang ating lakas sa mga bagay na panandalian lamang, sa mga bagay na kumukupas, sa mga bagay na nasisira, sa mga bagay na nawawala. Let us live life with Jesus sapagkat ito yung pinakamasayang buhay na matatamo natin sa buhay dito at sa buhay sa kabila. Amen. Please all stand. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. 
and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Trusting in the life-giving power of the Lord, let us present to Him our petitions for the needs of all mankind and our own. Let our response be, Lord of life, hear us. Lord of life, hear us. That the Church may constantly be kept alive by the presence of the Spirit and be healed from the many wounds caused by our sinfulness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord of, of life, life hear, hear us. us that our spiritual leaders may be the agents of the Spirit in bringing back to life those groups and institutions that have been plagued with divisions and hatred. Let us pray. Lord, Lord of, of life, life hear, hear us. us. That those who find themselves buried in the grave of sin and vices may find in the local Christian community the help they need to start living according to the gospel. Let us pray. Lord, Lord of, of life, life hear, hear us. That those who labor under the difficulties caused by an unoppressive or uncaring environment may find in today's readings a source of inspiration and courage. Let us pray. Lord of life, hear us. Lord God, we come to you with the wounds of our past defeats. Work for us the wonders you accomplished in the valley strewn with dry bones and at the tomb of Lazarus, you who live and give life forever and ever. Amen. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may draft them at the collection baskets. So you Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
through Christ our Lord. For us, true men, he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and as eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Bonol ko po, may kapal. Bonol ang iyong pangalan. Bonol ang iyong kaharian. Langit lupay nagpupugay sa iyong kadakilan. Dinoro. Ang naparito mo, anak, na siyang nagmulat sa bulag. Sa pilayan, nagpalakad at nakiramay sa lahat. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Aming ipinayag Na namatay ang iyong anak Na buhay bilang Mesiyas At magbabalik sa wakas para mahayang sa lahat. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Sumo sa langit ka, sambahin ang alal mo, mapasamin ang gari. from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ so God Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace, peace. Cordero ng Diyos na nangaalis ng mga kasalanan ng salibutan Baawa ka sa Oh 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Oh, 
collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of Saint Padre Pio. Thank you for your offerings.
Please all stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Panalangin ang pagtitiwala kay Santo Padre Pio, tayo pong lahat. Padre Pio, taga Pietro China, mongheng banal, pintakasing santo ng milenyong kasalukuyan, gabay namin sa pagtahak sa landasing makalangit, takbuhan sa pangangailangan, huwaran ng pagtitiis. Sa iyo namin inilalapit aming mga kagipitan, sa iyo po ibinibilin kalusugan at kabuhayan. Di man karapat dapat kami po ay pagbigyan, bendisyonan at basbasan maging ganap sa buhay. Lumayo nawa kami umiwas sa kasalanan, lumapit lagi sa Diyos maging matatag at matibay. Sa mabuting balita ng pagliligtas, turuan mo kami nawa sa tuwi na ay makinig, magnilay at sumampalataya. Amin pong pakiusap itong mga kahilingan. Puso ay nagsisisi, nagtitikang taimtiman. Di na muling magkasala, sunod lagi sa Diyos Ama, kaysa ng Espiritu at ni Jesus na tagapamagitan. Amen. Amen. Tayo po muna ay magsiupo para sa mga patalastas. Una sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, Mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikaapat, nagpapatuloy po ang pagpapakumpisal sa buong panahon ng Kwaresma mula lunes hanggang Sabado. Ito ay sa ikasampu ng umaga hanggang ikalabindalawa ng tanghali at sa ikatlo hanggang ikalima ng hapon sa Chapel of Reconciliation. Wala pong pagpapakumpisal ng Sabado ng hapon at sa araw ng linggo. Gayun din naman sa lahat ng araw ng biyernes ngayong kwaresma ay magsasagawa tayo ng pagdarasal ng istasyon ng krus sa ganap na ikatlo ng hapon. Available po ang mga aklat dasalan sa ating mga tindahan. Kayo pong lahat ay inaanyayahang makiisa. Mga kapiyo, Bahagi ng pagdiriwang ng kaarawan ni Padre Pio ngayong ikadalawamputlima ng Mayo, tayo ay magkakaroon ng car raffle dito sa Pambansang Dambana. Ito ay fundraising program upang matulungan ang ating mga scholar ni Pio. Maaari kayong makabili ng tickets sa pamisahan, sa HR office o sa mga nakaistasyon sa paligid ng simbahan sa halagang limandaang piso lamang. Mangyaring panatiliin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tulara nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo, Magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka. Sambahin ng ngalan mo. Mapasa amin ng kaharian mo. Sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw. At patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala. Para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. 
at huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso, at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Papuri sama sa anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Papuri sama sa anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for your blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people, who long for the gift of your mercy, and grant that what at your prompting they desire, they may receive by your generous gift, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. <laughs> Itong pag-ibig na tunay